Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel of Electrobuff. I'll show you in this episode how you can make a 12 to 325 volts, 150 watts DC boost converter. The project is based on the UC3843 PWMIC. The complete circuit schematics is as shown. So you need a power supply preferably 12 volts, but any from 10 to 15 volts will work fine. Then you need two input capacitors, C1, C2, eliminates any high frequency noise. The frequency of the IC is determined by the resistor, this one and this capacitor. In the values are shown the frequency is about 50 kHz, which is designed for high frequency switch mode power supplies. So all connections of the IC are shown, pin 7 is VCC, pin 1 and 2 are the timing pins and the connections are shown. Connect pin 5 to ground, pin 4, pin 8 and pin 3 or are connected as shown, pin 3 is the current sensing pin and pin 6 is the output passive modulation generator or basically just the output pin so when pin 6 is high the MOSFET will be turned on through this 10 ohms resistor and it will begin conducting current will flow from the positive rail through the primary winding which is 6 times my view through this, this TR2 is a current sensing transformer through the MOSFET and to ground. So when P6 goes low, all the energy stored in the magnetic core of the inductor will be transferred to the secondary side because this is a prime back converter. The secondary windings are 80 turns and at the secondary you have high frequency, high voltage diodes which are UF5408. You can use any other high frequency diodes. You have around just ensure that they can output at least 3 amperes. Then you have your output capacitor which should be written at least for 50 volts preferably for 50 volts and 100 microfarads. So for the feedback on the second side, it's composed of this resistor divider network. So changing the value of Rx will allow you to change the final voltage of the output or you can use a potentiometer to obtain a variable output voltage. So what the feedback pin 3 monitors the current through the MOSFET so one, there is one winding on the torrent and six turns for the feedback when the voltage drop here gets to about 0.1 volts the pin 3 will be triggered and this will cause the pin 6 to go low and the MOSFET will be turned off immediately so this acts as a current limiter and this depends on the parameters of the current sensing transformer if you don't want to use the transformer you can use a resistor in certain connected between the source and ground of the MOSFET and then the node in between connect to pin 3 as shown so basically that's all about this DC to DC boost converter you can use it for many projects that require high voltage and the output power is decent enough with 150 watts you can do quite a lot of things with it and without being saying this marks the end of my video don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to my channel for more amazing projects and tutorials and also click the notifications bell below to get notified when I upload new videos I wish you a nice time